okay. Uh, Rachel and Sean had the same number of marbles. Rachel gave away 20, Sean gave away 44. Rachel then had three times as many marbles as Sean. How many marbles did Rachel and Sean each have first? So, uh, if you want to solve this problem, you need to interpret every sentence in a mathematical way. So, we're gonna take a look at some model drawing here. Right, we have two guys, Rachel and Sean, right? So, what you need to think about is that oh sorry I will be pressing accidentally this button because it's not located in a very smart position well maybe it's smart but not comfortable all right so they have <coughs> they had the same number of marbles right Rachel gave away 20 so this is what we do this is what disappeared right and we need to show that it was 20, right? Now what happened next? <clears throat> what happened next is Sean gave away 44. So we need to show that 44, so I don't know, my drawing not gonna be perfect here, <clears throat> disappeared 44 marbles, right? And after that, after they gave away their marbles, right? Rachel then had three times as many marbles as Sean. So what do we do? We show that there are three units. Rachel has three units, three times more as the Sean, and the Sean has one unit, right? And it becomes clear that we can find the difference between Sean and Rachel, after they gave away, this is the difference. This is the difference that we can find, right? And in order to find this difference, we do it very simple. <laughs> With the model drawing, it becomes clear that if we subtract 20 from 24, we will get this 24, we will get this two units. Two units is 24 right 24 <clears throat> so one unit how much is one unit one unit is 24 divided by 2 which is 12 so we found out one unit one unit is 12 and they're asking us how many marbles did Rachel and Sean each have at first right so we can calculate Rachel we can say that it's three units three times 12 one unit plus 20 or it is shown which is one unit one unit which is 12 plus 44 as a result we should have the same answer the same number 56 all right this is our answer all right next page next problem don and emily each had the same length of ribbon both girls use their ribbons to make identical bows so identical, it means the same, right? Don made 12 bows, had 128 centimeters of ribbon left. Emily, 9 bows, 176 left. How many bows could Emily make with the ribbon she had left? So again, the first sentence, they had the same length of ribbon. It means, okay, so again, <clears throat> we have Don and we have Emily. And we draw totally same blocks same length this is the same length of ribbon right but we know that dawn gave away her 128 centimeters 128 centimeters right whereas emily she gave a little bit more 176 170 76 centimeters Right, and the rest we know was spent on bows. So Dawn with the red, with the left over, she made twelve bows. So what we need to do is we need to make our twelve units: five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. Well, that was a little bit ugly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe not so ugly. Sorry if I miscalculated. 
<coughs> and then Emily, uh, she made she made nine bows, right? So it is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so it is nine bows, and it's same similar identical bows. It means the units are all the same. So we have twelve units and we have nine units. So in order to understand the difference, we can see that clearly now. If we want to understand this this difference. <clears throat> we can subtract 128 from 176 and we will get our 48 centimeters of difference. Our 48 centimeters of difference is three identical bows. Three identical bows. Basically, three units. So three units is 48. Three units is 48. How much is one unit? One unit is 48 divided by 3, which is 16. Each bow was made from 16 centimeters of ribbon. Now 176 divided by 16, right? We, know to, we, know to, we want to answer the question, how many bows could Emily make with the rest, with this amount of ribbon, with 176 centimeters, how many bows she can make? We divide by 16 and we get 11. This is our answer. Emily could make 11 bows with the ribbon she had left.